Taking advantage of being at IWF where ShopBot has got their Zeta machine set up. I want to fit this in my shop, but this is a way more convenient way to cut video. So Ryan, tell us, what do we got going in this cool machine? Yeah, what this machine is, is a perfect machine for cabinet makers. I mean, it's got it all. It's got the vacuum hold down. Uh, it's got a tool changer, which is kind of hidden in the background back there. But so we're going to see it. Yeah, it allows for uh, loading and unloading from both ends. Uh, the sides are a little lower, loading from all directions. Uh, another exciting feature we have is a drill bank. It's able to drill, you know, five holes in the one direction, um, you know, five holes in the other direction, and it determines how many holes it needs to drill to get to get the job done. And how many bits to activate? It's gonna um, it's gonna control that on its own. It, it does. Yeah, it's all through the software and what. Cam software de determines what drill to use. It looks at how many holes it has to drill, and it determines how many holes or how many drills uh, to put down at the same time. So let's hit a couple things here. Vacuum bed means we don't need hold downs on here. The vacuum is gonna hold that sheet in place. Tool changer means you don't have to get in there with collet wrenches and do that bit change. It's gonna do it automatically. And although we're looking at a big machine here, mm -hmm. ShopBot does have smaller footprint machines with these same characteristics, right? The yeah. uh, desktop Max can be equipped with a vacuum bed and a tool changer yes. as well. Yes. So what you're about to see, what you're about to learn is also applicable to home shop, bench top type applications. And we're gonna start on the software side or the computer side? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take a look at the software, see what it took to get from the computer over to here. The whole process to get from computer to uh, a cut cabinet is yeah, roughly about 15 minutes to have a complete completed cabinet. Nice. Um, so we'll see it all. All right, let's have a look. Ryan, with the ShopBot products, everything is controlled from a laptop, not from a file. Right? Yeah, everything's on the laptop. The uh, benefit of that is not only do you have this file that you're trying to figure out what it is, you're able to install other software on the PC as well. Um, so you don't need to go back to the office to program something to bring it back to the shop to make it run. You can have everything that you need all the CAD CAM software right on the laptop that's running the machine. And I think the user interaction is so much more intuitive yes. coming off the PC than it is off of a file. Yeah. So, all right, what you got? So what, what are we, we going to make? Now, as an example of that software on there, we have a cabinet that we've nested out here, um, and this is what we're going to see cut. A um, couple things that we're going to see a little different that I don't think a lot of CNC cabinet makers do are pocket holes. It's what these little slots are here, just little pocket slots uh, for cabinet assembly. So here, where we're looking at these slots, that's yes. pretty cool. We're gonna yeah. do uh, a, a little... saving a step because we don't have to go to a pocket hole machine right. after the CNC. Right. Nice. So once we've uh, been here, we've calculated tool paths. Uh, we're ready to go right to the control software and uh, run that file. You're making a cabinet called IWF Demo. We, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is sending, it's about to send the signal to the spindle. It, it's ready to go. And then it's go. just gonna talk back and it, forth. It's from telling me to turn on the spindle because we're ready to go. We should hear that start up. I have to turn the vacuum on to make sure that's gonna hold down. Yeah, we're good there. And clicking okay and away we go.
Tell me again how many inches per minute we were running at on these yeah, profile so we cuts. Yeah, so we saw 500 inches a minute. I mean, full depth pass. Full depth. With a 3 8 bit. Absolutely. I that mean, is incredible. A, you know, 100% complete cabinet, ready to go to your edge bander. Pocket holes, you got the shelf holes in under eight minutes. So I love this, um, the addition of that pocket hole, kind of a fluting cut there. And, and just like a pocket hole, we're ramped down to full depth at the end. And what a great time saver to not have to go to a pocket hole machine when you come off your CNC. And I want to say, again, we're, we're looking at kind of CNC on steroids here, but a lot of these features are available All also. All these same the, features are available on the smaller desktop machines. We have the desktop machines also have the tool changer on them, uh, edge clamps, uh, you know, for dovetailing, um, any kind of that. It's also capable turnings, uh, indexing. Yeah, fourth things. axis. Yes. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Well, thanks, Ryan. This was a great, uh, a great look at this machine. Really fun. All right. Thank you.